hey what is up guys it's Anup here back with a new tutorial video in this I'm gonna show you how you can render your video in H.264 and mp4 format in Adobe After Effects CC 2018 I'm using the 18 version let's jump into it first let me tell you uh, due to the previous year update uh, mp4 has been removed uh, I don't know why I don't know about the Mac users, uh, but they should have the option for H.264. And if you select the QuickTime under the render process, uh, but don't know about the MP4 output, let me know in the comment section down below if you don't have it. Then this tutorial might help you guys. But in PC, if you did not find those two options like H.264, neither or MP4, so there are two methods I can tell you how to get it back. First, the main thing is uh, Adobe After Effects. It's a huge software, you know. Uh, it has uh, many plugins, you know, pre-installed in it. Uh, the people were complaining about the stuff. The you know. Uh, the application is uh, crashing due to heavy rendering and stuff so uh, Adobe has their own media encoder you know so if you don't have one then get it I will recommend you to download it from any kind of you know third-party torrent site uh, if you're downloading from a torrent then be sure that you are downloading a secure file uh, because uh, one of my friends recently downloaded and he got a ransomware thing so be aware with that this is the probably the reason I think uh, they removed the H.264 from uh, the recent updates from 2018 I guess correct me if I'm wrong first thing first if you don't have any media encoder uh, then first install it trust me that's the only way you can get your H.264 the HD files you know and the mp4 format so um, download it from third party as I said um, so how you do it you know uh, let me tell you if you have the media encoder right now so as you can see um, here I have my you know Adobe After Effects CC 8 2018 is open and I have one main like as you can see I have made it a I have edited one small video you know this is called parallax transition if you are using PC then control M or if you are using Mac or something else Linux I don't know about Linux so uh, control M if you hit control M you will directly go to the your render option so as you can see over here uh, the Q in AME and the side you can see render option so the thing is under the render settings as you can see the best settings there it's everything is okay you no need to change anything uh, if you go to the lossless uh, the output module as you can see it's already selected in AVI so you cannot see your desired mp4 file so uh, the first thing the first method I told you to go through the Adobe media encoder so that's the only thing you can get uh, the second step I will show you how you can use this one to get H.264 so uh, first thing first uh, cancel this one and if you go to AME Q in AME so the media encoder CC will pop out if you don't have one I told you before doing this stuff install this software after that proceed so yeah it's open uh, the thing is the H.264 it did not apply the you know uh, settings from here it's taking the settings of the Adobe Media Encoder 2018 as you can see here H.264 it's already taking the thing as you can see if you click on that change the option if you want the desirable option you can get bunch of options over there and this is an mp4 file so let me output it to desktop yeah main mp4 test let me rename it test and save it so as you can see uh, export video and audio both are there and if you go there if you down scale it render at maximum depth if you want you know uh, HD, HD video file I have my own you know setting presets of rendering at high bitrate and all if you want to know then let me know in the comment section down below what's the setting I use and that's it and tick this one the use maximum render quality 
then hit ok as you can see it's custom to that main test mp4 and that's started and it's done and it's done here as you can see this one the main test i have created as you can see here so as you can see here the properties of it it's .mp4 file you know 1920 by 1080 here you can see the frame rates and all so recently i have rendered it from ame that is adobe media encoder this is the first step and the most recommended step to do and to get s.264 and mp4 file and the second most thing if you go back you delete this one the render thing and go back to my project as you can see here this is my project over here i have edited so uh, the second step for that you need a uh, quick time if you go to google chrome download quick time q u i c k time 7 so quick time uh, as you can see here apple support it's for pc also so uh, as you can see for windows download quick time just download it and install it then open your after effects and after effect, i have already did it so this is the thing for you to do before it after that control m or command m to uh, go to the render thing so um, in this guys uh, you need to set the output module go to lossless and select quick time as you can see the option here quick time after that go to the format option and select h.264 or any other you want it but this is the thing uh, 2.64 the quality is set to 100 that's it and hit ok as you can see it's thing but over here as you can see the default is .avi uh, file so if you change this um, keep this video output as rgb millions of n and this one is pre-multiplied matter and hit ok as you can see uh, it changes to custom quick time and output to main dot mov it's still in mov so that's the thing the second step is so humiliating because uh, you need to uh, if this if you hit the render thing it will render like that only but in mov file but it still has dot h.264 so after the output file you need to take that file and convert it i will leave the link of third party uh, video converter down in the description box so go and check it if you need it but it's not recommended for you guys for any reason you don't have a media encoder so that's the only option you can go through if you are not interested in adobe after effect then there is always premiere pro where you can get h.264 plus mp4 file i always use that but for you know for the professional things for editing stuff i always recommend after effects this is it guys hope you enjoy the video hope you get this video helpful then hit the like button if you don't like it unlike it but i will not recommend you that do that so thank you for watching and i will see you guys in the next one later